Hello there, my YouTube chums. Today you find me reflecting upon the first ten of my Atari patch conquests, and counting down from my least to most favourite. With that said, let me assure you that I did in fact enjoy all of the games, even those at the bottom of the league. <laughs> at number ten we find Laser Blast. Move and fire! Move and fire! Uh, move and fire! What at first seemed tedious, soon became a zen-like experience. But its meditative properties do not stop Laser Blast from being at the bottom of this list. Yes, zen has equaled ten. Will I return for the million point patch? I may, when I want to meditate for five hours. Om. At number nine we find Mega Mania. This is a highly original blaster, allowing one to take pleasing pot shots at hamburgers, bow ties, and tires. It's a surreal shooting gallery, which makes one's mind boggle and puts one in need of some cookies. If only they hadn't all been smashed to smithereens. At eight, we brush against Plack Attack. One's mandible and maxilla are under attack from a whole host of candy adversaries. Donuts, candy canes, and strawberries? I knew it. Thy new fruit was bad for one's health. Arabella, I was right! At seven, swirling up into the heavens, it's Chopper Command. What a joy it is to take to the air in this worry bird. Although it is a little tricky to master the joystick. Keep your abhorrent bombs away from those supply trucks, you pesky jets! Take that for my defender like laser gun! Ha! At six, Sequest steals into the mix. It's a bit like Chopper Command, but underwater. And one has to rescue divers. I love the colours on display here. Pinkfish, yellowfish, orangefish, <laughs> goldfish. <laughs> They're sharks! I also love the drip feed of increasing speed. Slowfish, fastfish, turbo, or should that be turbot, powered fish. They're sharks! And one can't help but admire the enemy submarines. Little little putty in U boats, which are almost too cute to shoot. Almost. Crocodiles, cobras, and swamps, oh my! Yes, swinging in at number five is Pitfall. Never has running, jumping and standing on the heads of crocodiles been so much fun. As regards the latter, it's this inaction, my laid-back lounging on the skulls of these toothy toes, which will be my downfall in the long term. Inert will hurt. I don't think the 20-minute time limit has caution factored in. <laughs> Rotting in at number four is Oink. Oink is not apparently very well regarded, but I love everything about it, not least of all its name, including the exclamation mark at its end, like Pitfall and Westward Ho. Here, one takes control of a pig under pressure to repair the hills blasted in his home by the heartless, or perhaps just a very hungry, wolf. Yes, it's breakout, but it's breakout with a pig. <laughs> There's snout at which to turn one's nose up here. <laughs> Skating in at number three is ice hockey. This is a deceptively difficult experience. What appears to be a straightforward, even primitive challenge of two against two becomes a nail-biting game of attacking, assisting, Body checking and waffle boarding. <laughs> Beat the computer, says the challenge. Piece of cake, said I. I don't think so, chipped in my somewhat lacklustre skills. This was tough, fucking tough. Skittering in at number two is Spider Fighter. I've already said plenty about Spider Fighter in my Let's Play video so I won't spin another yarn, except to say that there are, apparently, more than 35,000 species of spiders in the world that we know of. In this game, we have green widows and stingers, 
which burst forth from spy pods and mast nests. That's a whole lot of eyes staring one out. Number one, with a hail of bullets, is River Raid, the jet-propelled jewel in Activision's crown. I was never happier than when soaring through these hostile gorges, filling up my fuel tanks and blasting bridges, boats and bad guy bombers. I'll be returning again and again to this beauty until I become a River Raid ace. So that's it for now. I'm leaving on a jet plane, but I do know when I'll be back again very soon with another episode of my gaming odyssey. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like me, tell your chums. Until then, this is Lord Fortescue saying, Toodle Pipsy, my YouTube chums!